Hello everybody, this is Kevin with xnadevelopment.webs.com and today I'm coming to show you uh, Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 Ultimate and how to set up XNA. So, to set up XNA, we're going to have to go to Firefox and type in XNA. Click the first link, which then brings you to the App Hub. This is your main central for all tutorials and forums. To get started, click download free tools now. You'll then get greeted with this page. Click download and install Windows developer tools. Then click this. And then click this. After all that is set up, we go back to Microsoft Visual Studios. As you can see, we're now in the main interface of Microsoft Visual Studio. Now, to start a new project, you would click New Project. To open a project, you would click Open Project. See all your recent files, look down at recent projects. I'm sorry if I'm sniffling, I have a little bit of a cold. Now, we're going to start off with a new project and show you what is in Microsoft Visual Studio. So I'm just going to click an Xbox game. Click OK. As you can see here, we have all our using statements. This basically tells the program what we're going to use in the XNA framework. As you can see, this is our namespace or our main game code. Just to uh, put any uh, variables that you want right here. This is your public class, and this is your public game one. This is now installized where you put any logic code. This is your load content where you would load a content like a uh, picture or a sound file or a font. Here's your unload content. This is the opposite from this. And this is your update content. And this is where you put all your uh, update logic. So, uh, Basically, just the way your sprite animates, or uh, how you move your sprite around the screen. This is also the draw method, and here is where you can uh, basically put any picture on the screen. Over to the side here, we have the Solution Explorer. Now, as you can see, this shows everything that's currently in our program. Sorry for the bird in the background. And my sniffling. Um, here we have the team explorer. So if you do set up a team, uh, this is very easy to use with them. And if you do click something, we have the properties folder, which can basically show us everything about uh, what we're loading. Down here we see the error list. And once installed, if you want to get your Xbox 360 up and running, click All Programs, down all the way to XNA Game Studio, and then click XNA Game Studio Device Center. This will then bring up XNA Game Studio Device Center, and then click Add Device, Xbox 360, and just name it, and add the code that pops up on your screen. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need a $99 account. But, if you go right now to XNA, XNA.com, if you go right here and you click register now, you'll get a free 12 month trial code. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Kevin from XNA Development.webs.com. Thank you.